Hi Ben. Hey, yeah. How's it going? Yeah, good. We are here on the Bafaco booth, right? Because you've got a new module. Yeah, module number four. So we started with my first module with Bafaco. We built a mute and then have Octon random step out and we've gone back into me effectively asking them to repurpose their hex mix system for doing other cool and creative things. So the stereo strips out now with Bafaco and we can use it for EQ, voltage control panning, stereo VCA. It has line level switches for interfacing external gear on the way in or out, so it can be our input interface or out. Or we can kind of abuse that for distortion, which is something I wanted to show you. So we'll maybe start with a typical Symphoise kind of use case for it. Uh, in this stereo strip under this cable spaghetti, we have a very basic stereo VCA happening. We can quite easily, with some modulation, add some panning. Go as slow or as fast as you'd like it to. So for example, I change that modulation source to an oscillator. We get this weird kind of head inside a ring modulator effect. You have attenuation to kind of scale that as much as you want. You can go as wild or slow and kind of auto pan as you like to. Um, another quick patch as well, if you want to really kind of abuse that input stage, it has a soft clipping limiter. So it's also a distortion and probably one of the only distortions of EQ in your rack. So if we head up to this one, we should have a typical kind of modular drum groove. But by then switching into line level, even though the input is your ORAC, we start to get into distorting that output stage. We can really push into that with EQ. So it's kind of what you would want, or what I wanted from a channel strip. Some distortion, some colour, some character, stereo VCA, panner, stereo EQ. And it was, I mean, none of these patches really is how it developed. It came from wanting to send sound in and out of effects, EQing effects and that kind of thing. So, yeah, stereo strips out now. So it, it must be quite uh, interesting coming after so many years of, like, just doing the reviews and, uh, and yeah. videos and stuff to then have your own product and now yeah. to be on your own, like, fourth module. Yeah, well, you're pointing at the little div kid school. I mean, that was seems like many years ago now but that was a sketch from a friend's sister who's a tattoo artist I said give me some weird character started this dance music production project got into modular videos it spirals and you know testing and giving ideas with brands and prototyping I was like you know what why don't I just try and put these in a module and Bafaco were great with mutes and stereo strip and the scene's great I mean I've I'd love to do more with Bafaco but everyone's so open they're just like yep yeah, good idea let's try it yeah, it's great fun that you've uh, been able to do it with different manufacturers as well. And yeah, and they're all friendly. You know, I was outside of Instrual yesterday that May Cox, we were with Manu from Bafaco. It's that big love, big happy family thing. And getting to make the videos, you know, it's an educational thing. The community is so good, it's giving back to people, giving patch ideas. I'm really happy if someone watches my stereo strip demo and goes, you know what, I'm not going to buy one, but that VCA patch is really cool. I'm still, you know, it's great just to be doing what we're doing. Yeah, you can still inspire even if you don't have the yeah. exact module, right? But if that leads to some more panning options or people think, you know what, EQ's cool in your rack and another company thinks, if it inspired someone to do something in any way, patching, building, it's great. Brilliant, well, Ben, thank you very much. Great, thanks, Ed. Cheers, guys.